Hello there kids, welcome to the Dill Learning Channel. Today we are on sounds, blends and digraphs. So we will be focusing on the two letter blended sound, ow, with O-W. Ow, ow. Okay, you know the drill, it's my turn first, your turn with me, your turn by yourself. Get ready? We are focusing on O-W, my turn. Ow, O-W makes the sound ow. Now your turn with me. Ow. Your turn by yourself. Okay, so let's look at the first word. The first word has the consonant H in front of it, and then we have the ow sound. Ow. It's very easy when you're reading because now when you see an O-W, you know that those two letters make the ow sound, so it makes your reading easier when you do know your two-letter blended sounds um, or your two letter combinations that make a, a a single sound. So let's go ahead and look at the first word. My turn. Ha, ow. Your turn with me. Ha, ow. Your turn by yourself. So now let's go ahead and blend it without segmenting and just say it as one long word. Get ready? Let's blend. I call it the long way. Get ready? Begin. My turn. Ha ow. Your turn with me. Ha ow. Your turn by yourself. Good job. Next word. My turn. Ka ow. Your turn with me. Ka ow. Your turn by yourself. Now let's blend it long. My turn. Ka ow. Your turn with me. Ka ow. Your turn by yourself. Great job. Next word. My turn. Get ready. Begin. N ow. Your turn with me. N ow. Your turn by yourself. Now let's blend it long. My turn. Now. Your turn with me. Now. Your turn by yourself. Great job. Last word. My turn. V. Ow. Your turn with me. V. Ow. Your turn by yourself. Okay, now let's blend it long. Let's say it long. My turn. Vow. Your turn with me. Vow. Your turn by yourself. Great job. Now we are going to read each word without stopping. My turn. Get ready. How. Cow, now, vow, your turn with me, how, cow, now, vow, your turn by yourself. Your turn by yourself again. Great job. You just learned the ow sound. Let's just go back and remind ourselves and say ow together. Get ready? Your turn with me. Ow. 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 And a gentle reminder that anytime you see the same pattern at the end of a word and a different consonant at the beginning, that means that that word rhymes. So we know that how rhymes with cow because they both have the same two letter ending at the end or behind their consonant letter. Um, we know that now 
rhymes with vow. Why? Because they both have the same ending. They both have the same ending. Okay? So remember, I always teach you a little bit about rhyming when we're doing our blending or segmenting of our blends and digraphs because um, it's just like word families. You have the same ending, so you know that they rhyme. And I like to teach both at the same time because it kind of goes together um, and makes sense to teach that at the same time um, because we visually can see that they do rhyme even though you change the consonant at the beginning. The base ending or the ending of that word looks the same. And that is just one way you know a word rhymes. It's not all the ways that you would know that a word rhymes. That's one basic way you know that a word rhymes. So I loved blending with you again. Please share about the Dill Learning Channel and Dill Purple Geniuses because there is lots of, of great games and learning games and books, a live show, all that good stuff um, on our website as well to help support your learning. And that's what we're here for, to support your learning, especially during homeschooling, remote and distance learning. Until next time, goodbye.